So tell me a little bit more about that profile. Like, so one, what I heard from the phone call is like, he, he has a girlfriend. Mm -hmm. uh, he's working full time. Yeah. How much is his salary? Close to 60,000. 60,000. And um, how much savings does he have? I didn't get a chance to talk about that because we only had a two minute conversation. And okay. Then, and then he was like, uh, I'll get back to you, brother. And since then. Uh, so you haven't had introduction call it? No. Okay. Like then detailed the, one, no. Okay. Then, you know, first thing is set up an introduction call and take the leverage because you're completely brand new to sales and real estate and you haven't explored a lot of strategies and you haven't explored how to get information from the people and find the right solution for them right so my advice is to this guy leverage finance so look you know, this is the guy i'm working with he said he would love to meet you in person once or even on the phone call to discuss more see how we can find you the best possible solution for your financial situation because now you, he is single yes and he got his pr how long have you been in the country? I think five for six years. Five for six years. He's working in Windsor? He's working in Windsor. And he's renting right now? He's renting. How much rent is he paying? Usually they don't pay much. I would say for just for himself, he would be under 600. 600. Yeah. He's still paying 600, right? Yeah. But what if we can find a solution where his whole expenses are less than 600? Maybe even he can live for free. And the property will make some money as well in next three, four, five years. By the time he get married, he want to buy a nice home. Only once we know the person better, then we can guide him in the right direction. My style is, I confidently say, look brother, I really want to help you. And I want to have 15, 20 minutes of your time so that we can know each other. See if it makes sense for you to buy. If there is any possibility for you to make use of the current real estate market. Because you want to be the solution finder, not a typical sales guy, oh, I, you know, here properties, buy, buy, buy. There's a lot of realtors like that. That is where your role come into picture. That is where you have to differentiate yourself. He's in your friend circle, right? So if he gets helped in the right way, you're going to get all your friend circle because they're going to start building trust on you. So one thing keep in mind, like for next 10 sales, don't think that you're in your way. You have me, you have all my experience with you. That is one thing I want you to keep in mind very strongly. That is one of the biggest boosting. And I will be behind you for even a little details. You don't have to do anything without knowing. And your clients, now they are in his family. That means it's my responsibility as well to make sure we are getting them what they are looking for or what even they are not aware of. Did you ever sell anything in your life? Anything that you remember? Any item you sold? Run me through the process. What did you do? How did you sell? How much you sell? So I, I would uh, give you an Indian uh, example. Thing. Yeah, example. Mm -hmm. So before coming to Canada, we had to pay GIC, right? Yeah. I don't want my father for GIC. So mm -hmm. I had a car, uh, Suzuki Swift. So I posted on uh, Ola, okay. it's a marketplace okay. uh, platform. Okay. So I met a couple of buyers, uh, very low balling prices and everything. So I asked one guy like, do you like Swift? That's why you're looking for a Swift or you're open to all cars. He's like, my personal choice is Swift. I said, brother, these are the keys. I'll sit on the passenger side, take it for a drive. Mm. Just drive it as your own car. Mm. He's like, okay. Then he drove and then he like, can I take it for like, a rough, little rough, because I drive like it's like no problem, take mm. it. And like he was driving, and then like I turned on the music slowly, slowly. I did the yes. volume up, mm. and then he said, "Nice music system." It's like yes, it's, I installed it from outside. Okay. I told him the brand. I told him everything. Mm. Then uh, when we came back, he's like, "Okay, this is what I can offer you." Mm. So like, uh, price is good, but I'm still looking for a little higher. Mm. But now that I have you, you like the car and I want my car to go in right hands because this will still be my first car. Mm. So I'm like, okay, 5,000 rupees less, but I would still have my car. If I'll go back and see it again, I would not see it sitting in dust. This guy will keep it clean. It's like, okay, we'll, we'll make it a deal. Mm. Before the finance day, he gave me 5,000 rupees more because mm. I really liked the way you were telling things. You gave me your car, mm. everything. So here it is. And then... I little was overwhelmed with this and like, um, maybe what should I do? I only took 2,500 rupees and I said like, okay, bro, you keep the half, I'll keep the half. So you both will be happy. Mm. He's still my friend. Just met him on marketplace. So some great sales lessons from there only. If you think, you know, one, he was negotiating with you. Yes, he was. And still in India, someone giving extra money is not an easy thing. Easy. Number one. So that means you win his heart, not the sale. So you were letting him drive and, you know, experience it. You're, you showed him how it feels when he owns it. So you connected to him personal level. Now 
we apply the same concepts for real estate because honestly it's no difference selling a three hundred dollar product or you know twenty thousand rupees product it's the same concepts people skill game is same yeah yesterday in meeting we were discussing about you know hopes and pains mm. so i realized that uh, uh, buying a house is their biggest investment in people so now i feel it like mm. this pain which those words and that board yesterday mm -hmm. actually made sense to me it is very important for me mm. as a sales person to understand every bit of their emotion their pocket their family everything yeah if i am in that area then they will be very comfortable sharing little more details with me yeah. the more detail i have the more easy for me to give them what they want yeah and you know you, you... This is another situation I have seen with a lot of regular realtors, not the ones who understand. So now, if you understand their pain and their finances better, and if you have a confidence in real estate, now, even if they lost the job and they have savings and you know one of the family member working, if you know you know they don't have income now, but if the real estate can provide income and provide that equity, now you'll be more confident because you know their finances even better. So. Good. Hope my agent got a very good kick start to start his real estate career because this is his first week. For you, if you want to learn how to sell, stick to this channel. Make sure to follow and subscribe for more videos like this. And let me know in the comments below what type of videos you would like to see from me more. And I'll see you in the next video. Take care.